Alright guys, same day, same shitty mic. Uh, I'm going to go through a three game series against Ill Intent here. It's a kind of interesting deck. Um, it's a uh, Delver deck that I didn't see any Wastelands out of, and in the first game you'll see Pyro Ascensions. I'm pretty sure he might pull them uh, for the next games, but he plays the games uh, pretty well. He makes uh, one slight mistake in game three that ends up uh, costing the series. Sorry for the spoiler alert. But uh, I thought the games were pretty solid, so I'm just going to hop right into them. Um, no lands is obvious mole. We don't know what our opponent's on yet. Um, a ponder. Let's a shuffle. We've got a duress effect. We've got a ritual effect. We've got a probe. Um, not a horrible hand. Uh, we're going to go ahead and keep instead of going to five. Not a great hand, obviously. Um, we get a second duress, so we're obviously going to lead the duress. And uh, I see Pyroblast Brainstorm get tax and probe Pyromancer's Ascension. So uh, I don't want to get hit with that Pyroblast. So I'm going to take that right away. But he's got uh, the Young Pyromancer and the Pyromancer's Ascension, which is interesting. And he's going to probe me with his Pyromancer lead. Um, we get a Dark Ritual, which isn't bad. I'm going to go ahead and duress him again. He has another uh, Brainstorm. I'm going to go ahead and take that Brainstorm and hope he just wastes a turn playing a Pyro Ascension. Um, couldn't see their card there, but it was bad. Um, as much as we like to keep this stack, uh, we can't because it's not a winning stack. So we're going to shuffle away, and we find another ponder. So he is going to ponder. He's going to put a, another token on the board. We get our fetch land. We find our doomsday, which is wonderful. Um, going to crack here for a volcanic island. He's going to brainstorm back. He preordains, still on two lands, he probes, and here's the backbreaker, Cabal Therapy. Will not only strip Doomsday, but flashback with Young Pyromancer is just going to crush us. We're going to go ahead and concede. I checked the top card, it was just a land, we were done. Um, so game one in the books, he got us there. Um, game two, I'm not sure what he's going to bring in. I kind of like to bring in some number of abrupt decays against this type of deck, since they sometimes have permanent based hate. So for game two, I think I brought in a couple of them. But with this Cabal Therapy, I think I also brought in um, my Draw 4 and Dig Through Time to kind of fight the discard. So we're going to hop right into uh, Game 2. Uh, keepable Hand. Three Fetch Lands with a Sensei's Top. We get a Cabal Therapy for defense. Both a Doomsday and a Burning Wish will make us a little more resilient to the discard as well as giving us uh, multiple possible lines after we craft a little bit. We're going to go ahead and lead with the top. And uh, he leads with a Thought Seize. Don't know if he main decks that or if that was a card brought in. kind of feel like it was a card he brought in. I feel like maybe he's playing a uh, Therapy. He decides to take the Doomsday instead of the Burning Wish. Um, kind of a toss-up there. You know, if I find Dark Rituals, Doomsday is better. If I find Diamonds, then uh, Burning Wish is better. Um, I see a Dark Ritual and an LED, so I know we've got a kill line on him soon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, since I can't kill him this turn, uh, put the Dark Ritual in my hand and uh, hide the diamond. Just in case he goes for uh, whoop, some kind of discard. Plays a young Pyromancer and he uh, probes me. Um, I cannot get this Cabal Therapy off and still win. Um, at this point, I feel like it's a better idea to just all-in him than uh, wait a turn to use a therapy or open with a therapy. So we're just going to go ahead and all-in him. And hope he does not have a force of will. And in fact, he does not. So we're going to win. Okay. Game three. Um, I'm going to keep a risky hand here with a uh, ponder and uh, a top and a uh, brainstorm. Um, it's risky because I don't have the fetch. I don't have a second land, but the ponder will let me shuffle. Um, being on the uh, draw, I'm going to see a couple extra uh, top decks before I even have to use the ponder. I can lead with the top and see two top decks trying to find that land. And... Uh, I've got a LED paired with that Burning Wish. We top deck another top, which is not really what we want to see. And uh, we're going to go for the Ponder here on our next 
turn. It looks like he's stuck on one land. Um, Doomsday Volcanic Island duress. Yet again, this is not a winning line. Um, even with the Volcanic Island uh, getting us Burning Wish and having LED online, uh, we're not going to be able to win with this type of pile. Um, it, it, it just needs to be shuffled away. Luckily, we do hit the fetch land, so we're going to go ahead and play it. Uh, because we're so stuck on crafting here, and he's stumbling a little bit here on mana, um, we don't want to crack this fetch right away. We want to use the top to uh, before we crack this Misty Rainforest and decide how to use our Brainstorm. Now, he discards my LED, and here is his blunder. Uh, normally, discarding the LED would have been the right card out of the hand, but he has a Surgical Extraction. And uh, against Doomsday, if you Surgical the Burning Wishes, they are done. This is one of the big drawbacks to playing Doomsday. If they Surgical your Burning Wish... Uh, you play no main deck kill conditions. You you have lost the game unless you've sideboarded in a uh, secondary kill plan with Lab Man or something, which I do not play. Um, regardless, losing all four of your LEDs is going to make a Doomsday Pile very, very difficult. But uh, what it lets me do is instead just play kind of like a normal Storm deck and just use my Burning Wish to win still. So we're going to take a little peek here. And we need a land, so we're going to go ahead and draw the land. And then we're going to go ahead and crack our fetch afterwards because we don't need any of the other cards. We're going to uh, upkeep our top again. We see a Dark Ritual, which is what we need. We need the mana to win. He plays a Null Rod, so we're going to go ahead and trade our top in. Not that it matters. Um, having it in the hand versus having it in play, except for it can build Storm from my hand. Uh, whereas in play, it does absolutely nothing for me. So we're going to go ahead and Burning Wish here, and we're going to go grab uh, Empty the Warrens. You could grab, potentially grab Tendrils because of his uh, life total being down at 15, but Empty the Warrens is safer. We don't, uh, if he decides to just cast nothing, we can still uh, get enough goblins into play to kill him. His hand is kind of low. He plays a Young Pyromancer, which we're kind of happy to see. He plays another Fetch Land. We're going to go ahead and Brainstorm now. And uh, we see Underground Sea, a Ponder, and a Cabal Therapy. So the card we don't need, obviously, is the Abrupt Decay. I think this game we only had one Abrupt Decay left in. I kept it in just in case I didn't see the hate piece from game one, which here was the Null Rod. At this point, it has become irrelevant. Um, now, I'm going to leave with the Dark Ritual here. He thinks for a second and doesn't counter it. So I'm thinking he probably has a Force of Will. So we're going to follow up with the Reign of Filth. I probably should have cast a Therapy before the Reign of Filth, to be uh, completely honest. Now, I'm going to try to Therapy. Force of Will doesn't really scare me. I'm afraid of Flusterstorm. And he forces the Cabal Therapy, which tells me, yes, indeed, he has the Flusterstorm. So we're going to ponder, looking for a Duress or a Therapy. And we find a Therapy. And we're going to go ahead and call Flusterstorm with it. But he wants more tokens, so he's just going to go ahead and Flusterstorm it. But that's kind of just an even trade because, right, it gives me an extra token, uh, extra two tokens as well, so it's not even really a good trade for him to cast it. And then we can cast one of our two tops here, and now we can put a bunch of goblins into play. He has no hand left. And we were able to fight through Surgical Extraction, which normally is an auto loss because he targeted the wrong card. That'll be it for this series of games. Moxnix signing out.